Good morning, Magicals. You're not going to believe this. This is the third time I'm trying for this, <laughs> for this video this morning. Oh my God. <laughs> Throat chakra issues. <laughs> okay. So we're doing this a little differently. Um, I thought I'd just change the, the shake up of it a little bit. Um, and also I want to give a little bit more information about each chakra since that was the whole point of doing these readings, right? Um, so I did do the random draw and the throat chakra has come up again, right? Um, a lot of throat chakra and crown chakra um, energy, sorry, my nose actually going through at the moment. Um, it's completely in alignment with the fact that um, A, we are in the pre shadows phase of Mercury retrograde, which is all about communication. It's also that we are coming into, uh, it's on the 20th of um, April, we go into Gemini season. Gemini is about communication as well, right? So now we have Mercury, that is the ruler of Gemini, in Gemini in retrograde. Yay, lucky us. All right. Um, just to let you know, retro, we've got, we are in full retrograde season at the moment. The 23rd of July, uh, the 23rd of, I said July. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind here. We're in May. Sorry. The 23rd of May, the 20th of May is um, Gemini season. The 23rd of May is Saturn in retrograde. The 26th is the full moon, lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. And then on the 29th, Mercury goes into full retrograde. Okay, so just so we're all clear about that, Mercury is all about communications and it's going awry very often. So please just be careful with that. Um, I am looking at doing a Mercury retrograde reading um, that will go out before the 29th. Okay, so we'll be able to keep up to date with that. But throat chakra is our fifth energy center. It's about communication. It's about expression. It's about authenticity. Um, and, and really and truly, like every other chakra, it has a kryptonite, which drains it. And that is for the throat chakra lies. So please, over this period, be very careful about not only telling lies to others, but what are the lies that you tell to yourself? Because those are the most damaging ones. Okay. So that's our throat chakra. As you can see by the coloring, it's like a turquoise blue, and mine's playing up this morning, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, I went to bed with a sore throat last night, okay, so we're looking at the throat chakra, so I thought we'd do things slightly differently with this, and when I pulled the cards, let me see what we got, <clears throat> okay, when I pulled the cards this morning, the first question I asked is, what do we need to release with this um, throat chakra today, and what came up, five of coins, or five of pentacles, okay, now, the fives are in alignment with the fifth energy. The actual number five are in alignment with the fifth energy um, of our chakra space. And it's about change, all right? Um, it's being in a situation and wanting to change it. In this particular one, you'll see that the, the creator has put a little girl in here, but the woman is still looking like she's going to walk away. Now, the fifth of pentacles, traditionally, one of the meanings is that it's feeling isolated or out in the cold, okay? Um, this particular deck, she has actually created it in the sense that what have you created in your life? What have you manifested into your life that you are no longer in alignment with? What manifestations are you no longer in alignment with? Now, that can sound kind of crazy, but very often when we are at certain frequencies, we will manifest stuff into our life that we think we want or we think we need, right? As we evolve and we grow, which we do constantly, that kind of falls out of alignment with where we are going and where we are at at that point in time, which means we need to stop, assess, and reevaluate. All right. Now, very often, when we look at what we've manifested, we feel alienated from it if we've evolved and it's still at the frequency that we used to be at. So this card today is saying start assessing where you have manifested, uh, uh, like whether it be situations, it can be jobs, it can be relationships, it can be anything into your space. OK, um, and start looking at how you need to change it and to evolve from that. OK, so the next card. I'm sure we had this card yesterday. Um, I asked how we needed to do this and I used the 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 Kui, um the Kui L and I got Makita. I'm sure we had this card yesterday. She who sees. Um, observe, perceive, and scrutinize. So I'm hearing very loudly that in order for us to actually see what we need to change, we need to spend some time, obviously, observing, perceiving, and scrutinizing where we're at in our space, um, where we've been, how far we've come, and where we want to go. Um, please understand that scrutinizing has got a bit of a negative connotation to it, um, but it's not about being critical 
Critical and scrutinizing are two very different energies. To scrutinize is just to kind of analyze in depth, okay? To criticize is not useful and it's not going to get you anywhere. So please, this is how you need to action it forward um, in order to get to where you want to be. And then I asked what our outcome would be. And look how beautiful this card is. Transformation. Okay. Now, this is a very poignant outcome given that we are going through, and I'm, I can't lie, we are going through an incredibly hectic transformative phase at the moment. Um, so by the 29th of, of May, we're going to have Pluto, Saturn, and Mercury in retrograde, and we, we're still going to be in the energy of that massive full moon. So all of this stuff, and I've spoken about this a million times in the last week, all of this stuff is pushing us to change, to release. Okay, um, it's vitally, vitally, vitally important that we um, start really stepping into our authenticity and starting to transform to be in alignment with that. So let go here. All right, let go of what is preventing you from being your truly authentic self. That is what the throat chakra requires of us. So bring out your batshit crazy, like whatever you've got to do to be who you are meant to be and who you intrinsically feel you are. It doesn't matter what that means. Um, you know, for me, I think I've said this a million times on other videos, but like for me, I've got this obsession with blue food. So my birthday's coming up and I'm like, okay, I need to order a blue birthday cake because I want blue birthday cake. And everyone's like, why would you want blue cake? And I'm like, because I love that. It's a silly example. But when you can make peace with those silly, quirky things, the bigger things become easier to make peace with. Okay. So guys, what do you need to walk away from? What do you need to, um, Release because it's no longer at your frequency. Observe, see, perceive, and then bring about your transformation into pure authenticity. Okay, such a beautiful reading for today. So I thought what we would do to end this off, so everybody comes becomes a little bit more familiar with... Um, with what's going on. I, a little while ago, created some little chakra mantra cards, okay? I'm going to just quickly draw one for us, um, and I also want to talk to you about connecting in with your throat chakra. Each chakra has what they call a seed sound. Now, the sound, when you make that sound, is, um, it's almost like the... The sound version of the energy of the chakra. In fact, that's exactly what it is. The seed sound carries the energy of that chakra. So our um, our um, throat chakra is hum. Now it's spelt ham, H A M, but the pronunciation is hum. So if you are wanting to sit some, spend some time connecting in with your throat chakra energy, then I su suggest what you do is you. Um, <laughs> uh, then I suggest what you do is you um, sit and just chant hum, all right, um, and actually like connect in with the energy of that chakra through sound, okay, it's a very powerful way to actually connect in with your chakras, I will remind everybody as we go, because I know people are going to be seeing this at different times, okay, so the card I've drawn here, I am open, honest, and clear in my communication, so your mantra for today, I am open, honest, and clear in my communication. Hey guys, that's it for today. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. If you prefer this format, please let me know in the comments so I can keep up to date on what you want. Um, I will be doing some full moon um, readings, the astro guides, and I'll be doing the same for Mercury retrograde. Um, so yeah, we'll touch base with that as well. But then I will see you tomorrow for your chakra reading. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Sending you lots and lots and lots of love.